Okay, 12.5 talks about the formula for an equation of a circle. So the center of the circle is hk, where h represents the x-coordinate and k is the y. And x, y are all of these points that are on the circle. So the formula is x minus h squared, make sure you put this in parentheses, plus y minus k squared equals the radius squared. So, example one, write an equation of a circle with center 6, negative 7. So this is your h, this is your k, and your radius is 10, so this is r. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug it into the formula up here. So you do parentheses x minus 6 squared plus y minus negative 7. So if you have minus a negative 7, it's going to turn into plus 7 squared equals radius squared, which is going to be 100. So if you notice, you just make the x's opposite and the y's opposite. And make sure you square the radius. So example 2. Here's your h, here's your k, here's your r. So it's going to be x plus 4, because it's a negative, plus y plus 5 squared equals 3 root 6 squared. So to simplify 3 root 6 squared, this is the same thing as 3 squared and then root 6 squared. So 3 squared is 9. Root 6 squared is 6, so this is going to be 54. And the next one, so it's going to be x plus, oh, this one's different. So write an equation of this, the center, this is h and k, and contains the points negative 4, 5. So if you think about the center of your circle at negative 6, 7, another point that contains it is negative 4, 5. So let's put negative 4, 5 right here. So this time we don't have the radius. We need to figure out what the radius is. So to figure out what the radius is, if we know that this is the center and this is on the circle, then the distance between here is going to be your radius. So you're going to, have to use a distance formula. So here's a distance formula. Distance equals the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So I'm going to let this one be x1, y1, x2, y2. So distance equals the square root of negative 6 minus negative 4 squared plus Ooh, and I put these in different order. Y1, Y2. It's not going to make a difference, but I should match these up. So Y1 is 7 minus 5 squared. So it's going to be distance equals the square root of negative 6 plus 2 is negative 2 squared plus 2 squared. So distance equals negative 4 squared is, or negative 2 squared is 4 plus 4. So this is going to be square root of 8. So the radius is the square root of 8. So up here, I'm going to do the, should have left more room, but I'm going to write, this is my h, this is my k, so it's going to be x plus 6 squared plus y minus 7 squared equals r squared. If this is my r, root 8 times root 8 is just 8. So there's my final answer. So example 4, write an equation of a circle with center at negative 1, 1. So this is my h, this is my k and contains the point 0, negative 2. So again, this is just an x and y that's on my equation. So 
So you can use the distance formula. So a negative 1 minus 0 squared plus 1 minus negative 2 squared. So distance equals the square root of negative 1 squared, keep it in parentheses, plus 3 squared. Negative 1 squared is 1, 1 plus 9, so the radius equals the square root of 10. So that means that when you do r squared, you're going to get 10. So this is my equation, x plus 1 squared plus y minus k squared equals 10. And now to graph it, you need to figure out what your, your h and your k are, and then what your radius is. So here, this is x minus 3, so my point's going to be positive 3. And then there's no change on the y, so it's going to be 3, 0. So I make a dot at 3, 0. That's my center. And my r is the square root of 25, which is 5. So from here, I'm going to go up 5, right 5, left 5, down 5 from the center. So I go up 5, right 5, down 5, and left 5. Make a circle. Here I'm not switching, moving on the x, so it's 0. And then I'm going up 1. So I make 0 up 1. And r is the square root of 16, so r is equal to 4. So I'm going to go up 4, right 4, left 4, down 4, and make a circle. So I can go up 4 to be 5, right 4 to be 4, left 4 to be negative 4, and down 4 to be negative 3. And then I make a circle. I'm all and then down here, make sure you get your h and k. So, oops, this should be a squared. So it's going to be positive 2, negative 3. And my radius is the square root of 4, which is 2. So I go left 2, up 3, make a dot. Oops, I can't I mean, I go right 2, down 3, make a dot. And the radius is 2, so I go up 2, right 2, left 2, down 2. Circle. And the last one, the ordered pair is going to be 0, negative 1, and the radius is 3. So I go 0, negative 1, make a dot, and I go up 3, right 3, left 3, down three. There's an answer.